I'm here to show you how to record any audio from your computer using one simple device. Let's get to it. So what I use is called the Tascam DR60D MK2. Now this is really meant for DSLR cameras. You can put it on top and you can record audio in the field, but if you're a music producer like me and an artist, or if you just want to record any audio off your computer, this is what you can use. Mind you, this is not a free option, but if you want to invest in quality sound capturing, stay with me. Now instead of sitting here and explaining the entire thing to you, let me show you how to record this audio. So. You click the on button, hold it, wait for it to turn on. Over here on this side, you have about four inputs. This is what I use, and we'll get to that in a second. So once you have it turned on, go ahead and click menu. When it says record mode, go ahead and press the button, click that in. Then change this, or scroll down, change this here. It should say channel one and two. Go ahead and change that to three and four. That's gonna be your uh, aux. Click that, you're good. Hit menu again, and now you should be ready to record. Now let me show you what this looks like. So you can use an audio interface. You could also just use the out from your computer. Side note, make sure if you do have it plugged into your computer that you have a pair of headphones that you can listen through on the side. You plug it into the headphone jack, listen that way. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to hear your audio coming out of your computer. So I'm gonna take my aux cord, plug that in right here in the, in the headphone jack. Then I'm gonna take the other end and I'll put that joint right there in channel three and four, baby. All right, now to make sure this works, I have a pair of headphones plugged in so I can monitor what I'm playing. And I do that because I wanna make sure that when I have the audio uh, running, it doesn't peak. So if I turn this up way too loud, you're gonna see the peak light come on. Make sure that it's down some, and then you can make some adjustments in your post-production later. Make sure this, your aux cord is plugged all the way into channel three and four. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit the record button, hit the play button to make sure that you're capturing audio. And then, you know, I've got some William Gold pulled up. So I'm gonna go ahead and record that from my computer. Let's see what that looks like. Now you see my levels playing. As soon as I play the audio, my levels start playing. That's what we want. Now to stop this recording, I just go ahead and hit the stop button. And then if I want to listen back to what I just did or what I just played, I'm going to go ahead and hit menu. You'll be at the top. I'm going to scroll down to browse, click in, and then here are your audio files that you have recorded and saved. Now, when you buy one of these, it's going to come with an SD card uh, that collects all your audio. Make sure you got that in. Otherwise, you won't be able to record anything. Now, if I want to delete one of these, um, I can go ahead and hit the quick button. Scroll to delete push it in it's going to ask if you really want to you can say stop if you don't really want to or hit or click in again if you want to i'm going to just stop because i don't want to delete these hit menu again hit menu again and you're back to phase one now why this device is so cool is because i've literally spent years trying to figure out ways to record anything coming off of my computer and because i'm a music producer it's really hard to try to record audio live while you're performing and even if you're DJing, this bad boy right here lets you do whatever you want. Now be careful because copyright does exist, so use this to your own discretion. Now let me just show y'all so y'all know I ain't playing, how this really works for any DAW or whatever it is that you're trying to use. I just pulled a machine here and I have a project loaded. Now what I want to do is go ahead and capture that audio while it's playing. So I'm going to go ahead and start a recording. I press my record button, I press my play button, and that's going to record anything coming off of here. So if I want to play something like right now I'm working on a Girls Need Love 2 remix, right? I have anything coming out of here. Whatever I, whatever I press, whatever's played, comes straight out of this program and comes right into this box. Now you can buy this today. It's about a buck 79 plus shipping and tax, but it's worth it. This thing has literally saved my life. Now this comes with the box, it comes with an SD card, it comes with a cable to import your audio files, and it also comes with a mic stand. So it's a pretty good deal for $179. Now to see me putting this bad boy to use, I went ahead and made another live performance video. The link is in my description of me playing to Maxwell's Palm Trees live. This has been a how-to by your boy William Gold. I'll see y'all later.